place an order to replenish an item, we need to assign that store item to a vendor. That means it's time to add some vendors. Let's go to the vendors section. And click add vendor. The next screen will ask for several key pieces of information. Let's call this vendor Drinks R Us. We also need to enter an email where the vendor can receive the orders. To get a hang of the system, let's enter our own email for the vendor. This way we can see what a vendor would receive on their end. When entering real vendors, you should of course enter their actual email. Let's quickly add another vendor called Food Depot. Now that we have some vendors, let's go back to the store items screen. Here we can assign vendors to our store items, which will create vendor products. A store item can have multiple associated vendor products. Let me explain using this Coke can example. The item you sell to your customers is a can of Coke. You may order your Coke from multiple vendors in different pack sizes. Let's assign a couple of vendors to the Coke can item. You can see our vendors appear in the drop-down. Let's select Drinks R Us and click Go. The pop-up screen will prompt for the vendor product details. Suppose Drinks R Us sells me Coke in a single pack which contains 24 cans. So pack would be one, Size will be 24, units are the same as the units that you sell, count. We don't have to put in categories, and let's say um, this costs me $12. And I'm going to call the order unit CS short for case. I also buy from Food Depot, which sells 30 can packs to me for $15. You can see both vendors assigned to this store item now. Now let's place a new order with these vendors to replenish our cans of Coke. 